Time to go? Great. Hate sitting around like this. This Cordova guy is really putting some wear and tear on my ship. He always wanted to explore the whole galaxy. And did you? We explored many planets. Tombs and temples related to the Zepho and Jedi. But I hit a limit. To him, there was no limit. The poor crazy old guy was left alone. He was always alone, even when I was with him. He cared about his work and the future more than anything else. He didn't have the time. He was always on the move. Magana was the first place I ever saw that looked like he settled, even for a brief moment. All right, we're here. Get in your chair. It worked for Cordova. You can make it work. She's right. Oh, hey, is anybody hungry? I, I was thinking of whipping up some sky steaks. I'm sorry, am I interrupting? No, Captain. And we couldn't have gotten this far without you. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, it's true, Grease. Thank you. Hey, I hope you get in there and you find that hollow thing. Holocron. Are you sure it's something you should find? What do you mean? The children on that list. If you take them from their homes to train as Jedi, won't they be hunted like you? It has to be kept out of the hands of the Empire. It'll help us put an end to the Empire. Oh, hey, uh, change of plans. We're arriving. Oh, Grease. <laughs> yeah? I take my steak or air. Huh? Huh? Okay, now we're cooking. Hey, oh, wait up. I know you're about to get that hollow cron. Nice, you remembered. You joining me? Oh, no, no, absolutely not. No, I just wanted to say, you know, those, those kids we're supposed to find. They're lucky to have you. They're lucky to have us. We're in this together, Grease. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't hoping you'd say that, because, you know, they're gonna need more than fancy magic tricks. Oh, uh, yeah? Practical guidance, role model, someone to look up to. You know, ship flying's a complicated art. But that's only if I stick around. I remember that. Good. Good. Okay. Good luck, buddy. You and Marin getting along? Oh, yeah. I mean, she still freaks me out, you know, the whole raising the dead thing. But as long as she doesn't kill me... She won't. You'll be all right. Oh, yeah, yeah, you said that before, and then... And you're still alive. For now. Nothing will happen to you. We're all in this together, Grease. Funny to have this thing end where it started. Oh, yeah. I remember our first visit here. I've said it before. I really didn't think you were... A Jedi? Jedi or not, I just didn't think you were the guy. And now? Now? Jedi or not, you are. Look, I still don't quite get the whole Force stuff, but what I do know is that you are one tough kid. Thanks. So are you. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I do look young for my age. <laughs> Hurry up here, I'm hungry. Might try a new recipe for smoked kadu ribs. There's something weird about this place. The energy is different here. Yeah, it's different than Dathomir. Yes. Dathomir is intricate. Its ancient power emanates from the shadows. Bagano feels more simplistic, and yet... I can't figure it out. Bagano is special. There's a reason the Zeppo built their vault here. Where your holocron waits. Hidden. What are you getting at? This planet has remained nearly untouched for centuries. Were the lives you seek to protect really in danger before you intervened? 
The Jedi retrain will help build a galaxy that respects and preserves special places like this one. And that is their choice or yours? We need each other to survive. Without the Jedi, I don't know if we can. We have a responsibility to protect them. So you've said. We're definitely not on Dathomir anymore. No, we are not. Is it how you imagined? The rest of the galaxy, I mean? It is so vast. I see now my life on Dathomir was... limited. I felt the same way about leaving Baraka. The world can feel small when you're trapped by the past. I think I will like my time aboard the Mantis. You Jedi should focus on doing rather than talking. Cal, got a second? You've been through a lot to get here. But the vault is still an unknown. Cordova put the holocron inside. That's what's important. I have to get it. Cordova built danger into this test to protect it. You're worried about me. I don't want to train all those younglings alone. I'll be fine, Seer. Plus, I've got BD with me. I know. Just be careful. This might be unlike anything you two have faced before. Thanks. We're ready. The both of us. Take care of each other. Remember when you first brought me here? It's hard to believe how far you've come in such a short time, Cal. Yeah. Hey, maybe when we train the younglings, we'll do it my way. I have a few ideas that don't include life or death situations. <laughs> You'll never train someone your way. Both people have to be willing to learn. Thanks. For everything. Anytime. Are you ready for what comes next? Yes. And so are you. I've seen it. You've learned a lot from all this, Cal. And from you. That's kind of you to say, Cal, but I won't be in the vault with you. Yeah, you will. Just in a different way. I'm glad we found you, Cal. Good luck in there. And remember, think before you react. I suspect Cordova left behind a test not just anyone could solve. May the Force be with you. This might be a peaceful place, but it doesn't mean it can't be dangerous. something weird this is gonna sound strange but I think it's the astrium the closer we get to the vault the stronger it feels <laughs> careful buddy we still don't know how this thing works Here we go, BD. Let's check it out.
I offer this record of our civilization to those who will follow. Despite our wisdom and technological achievement, we face extinction. Dogma blinded us to the path of balance, and gradually we allowed our pride to corrupt us. Than the ways of the Force. Master Kestis. We shall begin with physical preparation. What is the Force? Gather round, everyone. Master Kestis, do you think the Empire will find us? Surrender now, and we may spare the youngest. That's right. On your knees.
feeling I'd see you here. Oh? How uncharacteristically prescient of you. Here I thought your greatest virtue was your dogged persistence as you stumbled from one debacle to the next. Guess you made a mistake not killing me on Brocket then. A scant mercy. I waged one meaningless Padawan against a prize that will win me the Emperor's favor. You think I'm gonna let you walk away with the Holocron? Of course not. We both have our pride. But yours has cost you the lives of all the Force-sensitive children on that list, as well as your own. Like you said, Trilla, I'm persistent. No. I don't need help to kill you! 
pretty solid. Seer, I saw what happened between you and Trilla, what you both went through. I'm so sorry. I was arrogant, I was foolish. I could never understand what you went through. She has a holocron. I don't know where she's taking it. I'm responsible for the path that Trilla is on. And what she does next is the cost of all of my mistakes. Our mistakes are in the past. And it's all of our responsibility, and it's about what we do next that's important. You taught me that, Seer. You're right. I know where she's taking it. There's a fortress where they take Jedi, where the Inquisitors come from. It's a place of torture. It's the place I escaped. I just never thought I'd be going back there. You won't be going alone. You'll have a friend with you. No. I'll have a Jedi with me. Neil. By the right of the Council, by the will of the Force, Cal Kestis. Rise, Jedi Knight. You are ready. So are you. Quiet. Too quiet. Not a fan of nature, Grease? Not only behind glass. Otherwise, nature's not a fan of me. I mean, I may have four arms, but if you haven't noticed, I'm basically bite-sized for most deadly creatures. Excuse me, Cal. I am not used to such talkative company. So you and Sierra have been here a few times? Oh, we've been all over the place. Non-stop tour of the galaxy with her. But she's paying the bills, so I can't complain, really. 
Better than hiding on a scrapyard for years. Oh, that I can agree with. I mean, I've seen trash heaps before. And that planet was the trashiest. I can't believe anyone would... Sorry. You're not wrong. You're making good progress, Cal. I'm glad you're with us. Well, we got a galaxy to save. Not an easy task. Are you sure you're up to it? I'll be okay. It's better than hiding on Bracca. I've been to many different planets in the galaxy searching for... Well, you. Unless we stop the Empire, we'll all be gone. Hidden or not. I'm ready. Good. You must have come here a lot with Cordova. No. Actually, he never brought me here. He did tell me about it. I was the only one who knew of its location. He trusted you. I suppose he did. He trusted I'd believe him and finish what he started. Hopefully he was right. BD-1 thinks so. He's one bright droid. Let's keep making progress.